Welcome to our video, Japan and the World. The topic for this time is, Chinese Submarine Disaster Mystery Deepens. The murky world of covert submarines has again been highlighted with reports of 55 sailor deaths. But not all may be as it seems. I would like to focus on the news.com.au report, October 7, 2023. Reports citing UK intelligence agencies claim an incident involving a Chinese submarine has killed 50 personnel. According to the Sun newspaper, as many as 55 Chinese sailors were aboard their submarine when it became stuck underwater. It's believed the vessel hit a trap known as a chain and anchor. Let's bring in former Senator and former submariner Rex Patrick for his thoughts on this. Uh, media reporting in the, in the United Kingdom, intelligence around this, it doesn't sound good for those submariners, does it, Rex? Look, uh, Kieran, good afternoon. Uh, the, the details are very sketchy, but my understanding is this is an event that took place uh, uh, a while ago, uh, in the last month or so, and that the submarine hadn't uh, actually gone missing, but there had been an incident, uh, and noting that these submarines have a crew of about 100 people, uh, it had an incident that left it uh, stuck uh, in a trap, uh, and then uh, it's made its way to this, the surface, uh, but in the process of that, we've seen, or we understand that some Chinese submariners have been, uh, have been killed. Now, now, just to play right. out the scenario, these sorts of traps would typically be in relatively shallow water, so they'd be in choke points or around uh, facilities that the Chinese Navy were hoping uh, to protect. A mistake must have been made of some sort because one would uh, think that a submarine commander would be aware of these traps and their locations. Uh, so something's gone wrong. They've, uh, the, the, the submarine has become trapped in some way. Now that in itself wouldn't result in uh, the sorts of deaths that have been reported. We know from uh, just recently with the Titan that uh, you know, people understood mm -hmm. that there were you know, 40 hours or, or quite a lengthy time period where you can uh, live underwater without necessarily having uh, CO2 absorption or indeed oxygen generation. And I, as a submariner, I've spent you know, 12, even 24 hours underneath the water without mm -hmm. uh, having air drawn into the submarine or without running those sorts of equipments. So something else has then gone wrong to cause the air to be contaminated to uh, you know, yeah. cause the death of, of these uh, sailors, this, the, the unfortunate death. One of the things that uh, concerns me about this is just the lack of transparency that sits around the Chinese Navy uh, yeah. in circumstances like this. That, that, that's, a, that's a major well, concern. We wouldn't, other, we wouldn't expect... The other thing that this highlights Yeah, but just is, on that point, Rex, we wouldn't expect transparency from the, the Chinese military, it'd be a surprise to, to get it, I would have thought. So if we're going to get any information, and as this report has proven, it'll be from Western intelligence, won't it? Yeah, look, if the submarine had been lost uh, and not returned, I think that's impo an impossible scenario to keep secret because ultimately there will be families that, uh, that, that end up saying something and you know, these things are, you know, are, are noticeable. So it's quite plausible that some incident has occurred. The Chinese Navy has uh, essentially said we're, we're not going to release any details about this. But in all of these circumstances, we've got a growing Chinese Navy. It's ramping up in terms of its submarine capability. Mm. One wonders whether or not the training that they're receiving is uh, as solid as, as it might have been, as it might be, uh, particularly when uh, you've got a navy that is, is expanding rapidly. Uh, they, yeah, I think. Uh, most countries would expect at least some form of transparency, particularly around incidents uh, that relate to nuclear-powered submarines. So rather than um, being lost or, or, or missing, as, as you pointed out in your first answer, th this it was a trap and, and set by the Chinese Navy itself on, in its own territory. Yeah, so it may have been set to stop or, in, in fact, to in some way disable uh, perhaps a, a, an American or a Japanese or a, or a Korean or a UK submarine that might be conducting intelligence operations in those areas, uh, that they wouldn't know that this uh, trap was in place. 
So it's, it's surprising that the Chinese Navy uh, ended up running into this. Now that could be as simple as uh, some person preparing a chart didn't mark it on the chart. There could have been a navigational error. error. Uh, the submarine captain or crew could have lost situational awareness. Uh, so there's a whole bunch of things, but something's definitely gone wrong that you run into your own trap. Oh, exactly. And in terms of the Chinese naval capacity, we're hearing so many ships being built, by, you know, basically by the month. It's growing in a very quick and huge fashion. But you're, you have doubts over whether the training is keeping up with that growth. Well, uh, submariners are the pinnacle operators in a Navy. They operate in an environment that is dangerous. They need to be well trained. They need to be well experienced. And it's very difficult to grow a Navy quickly and retain that experience uh, average right across the fleet. And that might, this, this incident may be a, uh, a signal uh, that the Chinese government ought to be taking notice of. Uh, but in general, you know, the other thing that this r raises concerns about is that when you've got a, a submarine force that's not operating as professionally as one might hope, uh, it can cause incidents. And, and the South China Sea is now becoming very uh, filled with uh, uh, foreign military, uh, foreign submarines, and it's, it's a geopolitical tinderbox. So all of these things in some uh, way raise other concerns. Hmm. Rex Patrick, former senator and submariner. Thanks so much for your time. Appreciate it. Thanks, Karen.